Oh hi, welcome to another Today's Decay, where we celebrate births and beginnings of everything important since the dawn of time. Today is October 2nd, and it's a really good one. Um, sometimes these things almost seem like uh, going through the motions, but no, today is a solid reminder that you can just kind of putter through life and not realize that um, this is a powerful day, right? One to appreciate. Um, a whole bunch of fun stuff happened on this day throughout history. Groucho Marx, born on this day, 1890. Alex Raymond, born on this day, 1909, creator of Flash Gordon, like all the... Um, Newspaper or comic book strips. Uh, but who is really out of this world and kind of gets the point of what I was going to say before. On this day in 1914, Jack Parsons was born. Jack Parsons was, um, well, one of the reasons that, like, rocket fuel was created and eventually leading to, is it rocket fuel? No, it's the, like, process that basically took us to the moon like whatever that fuel source is i've read about it and i'm blanking on what it's called like the the specific term but the point is more that he was very enmeshed in occult the occult world um in a uh, he was um uh friends with alistair crowley kind of lived in that weird crossover period between Crowley and Anton LaVey, uh, the West Coast occult world, married to uh, Cameron the Witch, Marjorie Cameron, um, friends with Kenneth Anger, a young Anton LaVey, um, Forey Ackerman, Curtis Harrington, uh, th this whole crowd of people who were, I think I've said it before about other groups like let's say the Dadaists or whatever but here's another like bubble of people who are existing in a pre-subculture world like you know anything from well I don't know why don't you say subculture started would subcultures be like 1960s garage punk bands the subcultures because this isn't like hey what's the first punk band or what's the first rock and roll record when did subcultures start? Maybe, I, um, you've got science fiction fandom uh, starting in the 20s, or is that a subculture? I don't know, I kind of got off on my own tangent here, I'm sorry. The point is, um, Jack Parsons, um, very much involved in like sex and occult um, rituals, uh, reportedly, as I mentioned earlier with the, the Curtis Harrington uh, birth, I think, uh, he s reportedly created a homunculus with a mandrake root in their Pasadena house. He then blew up his house and died in it. Um, questionable circumstances, possibly related, probably related to um, um, his work with jet propulsion uh, studies, but uh, it, it's also believed that this could have been like they were trying to open up a doorway into another realm or some occult ritual that just went very, very wrong. Uh, on this day, Bob Powell born 1916. Bob Powell is a fantastic um, horror comic book artist from... I mean, he worked before and after that, but I'd say high point is, like, stuff like Black Cat Mysteries. Uh, all those, like, pre-code comics that were taking their um, lead from EC Comics, but doing their best to, like, outdo them in some forms. And this was a, a artist who did really well. Uh, he also was involved with, I believe, the Mars Attacks cards, which eventually became, like, the brand Mars Attacks. Um, anyway, my point here about why, like, this is a good day. So you've got Jack Parsons. You also have Rosalind Norton, who was born on this day in 1917, who, um, grew up in, New or was born in New Zealand, but wound up moving to Australia, 
where she was known as like the witch woman of kings wherever she lived i forget i don't know but um very much a loner rebel involved significantly with like sex and occult magic type stuff in the 40s and 50s way before uh any of this was um at all popular i'd say like 60s and 70s this stuff becomes popular um but this was just her on her own doing whatever she felt like and uh society was not ready for it and she's wonderful her artwork is terrific i was lucky enough to see an exhibit um that featured some of her work it was this whole occult thing that i want to say pam grossman from morbid anatomy library or maybe the observatory lab observatory at that time i forget what year it was uh put together like right off of washington square park and uh it was one wonderful exhibit after another and um the rosalind norton stuff is like blew me away because i had never heard of her before yeah so this day 1917 1949 richard hell born good for him <laughs> and uh last but certainly not least the pilot episode the premiere episode of the twilight zone premiered on this day 1959 where is everybody and uh I, I don't have an answer for where is everybody, other than they, they should all be celebrating all this stuff, because these are dates that really rate. October 2nd. It's a good one. Cheers, folks. Till tomorrow. <laughs>